what is Forest School? Using natural environment, what is available here? What do you see? The river, the stone, the trees, the leaves, the insects, the sound to be the building block of education. So this is your classroom. You use the element here. And by mingling and changing the dynamics of this element, in the process, you will learn things. You will teach yourself skills. From bringing them to the forest, they can learn about the animals, the environment, the stones. So there is geology involved, there is ecology involved, there is biology involved. These are the natural things that they can learn by observation, by just coming here over and over again, by mingling with the environment, by swimming in the river, they can observe. So these are the direct learning they can gain from going to the forest over time. In forest school, we try not to tell them what to do. It's a very unstructured education. We let them free to explore their own potential. It is not there is a set of syllabus, oh, today you climb tree, today you tie rope. No, it's more like they are exploring the element, the natural element and their own um, behaviour, attitude and ability. So we will minimise uh, structured equipment or more like man-made structure. Maybe we only bring one, two uh, important tool to explore the forest like a knife or a lighter or a rope. Forest school is actually a set of principles. How do we deal with the children? What is our attitude to the children? There's many ways to practice it. You can uh, send your kids to an established forest school with a forest school practitioner or you can just uh, do a co-op like all the moms are educated in forest school and we practice the principle together. So I do it with a bunch of moms. We have attended a lecture from Coach Darren from Forest School Singapore. So we are all in the same mindset how we're going to treat our kids in a forest school setting. Our job is uh, to mitigate risk, to prevent serious injuries. By doing that, we provide a safe environment. And also it's important in forest school that kids go to the same place so every week they are going to be there so they feel comfortable with it rather than it's always exploring, exploring, exploring. It's just that you are at your house, you feel safe, you know where the things are already. Every time you come, you don't need to explore new places or be careful about just the physical environment. That will um, further deepen the exploration process just like oh i know there's big stone here small stone here what can i do with it this week i already built a castle next week what am i gonna build i'm gonna build a dam regularity actually provide more creativity you can make things into a more complex structure so after the facilitator or even the children think they have done the place they are super bored of the place maybe for a few months then maybe you can explore another site another skill set that you can cultivate in your children when you bring them to the forest is uh, adaptability and problem solving Take for example, there is a fruit in the, in the tree and they want to get it. So we won't tell them how to get it or we won't even help them how to get it. We will just stand there and encourage them. So we will just ask them and question and guide them. Maybe, so how can you reach there? Uh, what kind of things you can use? We don't tell them direct answer. They have to make use of what is available to achieve what they want. And because it's something that they want by themselves, it's their own desire, they will try all sorts of methods to actually get what they want. So they maybe they will use a stake or they will try to climb the tree or whatever they come up with. We just stand there, stand by for any accident or prevent any 
serious injuries from happening, but we will generally encourage them to, to solve the problem themselves rather than giving them direct answer what to do. We will guide them, provide a few opinions. So this is very different from uh, what you learn in a school setting. In a forest school, when you do it with many children, there is also teamwork involved. They have to learn how to solve problems like crossing a stream by maybe lining up or holding hands. So they learn how to work together with their friends. Or sometimes they can fight. They want to throw, some kids want to throw stones, but some kids want to build things. So obviously they have to figure out something by themselves. Yes, Nina. Yes, Nina. If you enjoyed the video, please support us by pressing the like button below. Also, do consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell notification icon.